Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. She comes up with a slam. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Nobody comes back from this. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for certain, guys. She made an instant impact, handily beating Billy Kay in her first ever match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Driven down. Perfectly executed. Corey, a few moments ago you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. Look at the tag teams who dominated this business. All of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Look at this! Hatch suplex. Her knee finds the mark. She's absorbing some offense here. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. Look at Finn Balor here. A well-placed kick. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Oof. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. Oh, she wants this win bad. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Oh, man, what a double knee strike. Right to the sternum. Ouch. Finn Balor has competed around the world under several names, but... Why he chose his moniker in WWE speaks to who he is the most, Corey. That's right. Ripped out of the pages of Irish mythology, Finn McCool was a hero who battled... Balor looking to end it! She's on a roll now. We're looking at complete domination here. Look at her go! Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Victory is on the horizon. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Finn Balor. Big move coming. Coup de grace. She's got a chance to win it. And here we go. Finn Balor with the cover. Oh, ouch. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. What do you think Finn Balor 
needs to focus on right now. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. I don't care how much of an... Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. How did she kick out? She's still in this one. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back. Bailey's looking to end it. Bailey's on the attack. Dropped by a close. Oh, my gosh. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. The night could be over for Ember Moon. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team, she Bailey's looking to end it. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. She's back in full control now. What a slam, Michael. She goes for the cover. Great offense by Bailey. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Over the last few years, the tag team see Ember Moon is getting ready. Clearly on a mission here. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. This is going to be big. One way or another. And a kick out at two. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. God, what a stiff shot. And right on the mark. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Oh, what a side slam. Boom, running STO. Nicely done. Oh, wow. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since Ember Moon is getting ready. Showing some quickness there. Look at Bailey making her move. Oh, that's how you make a statement. Incredible. Bailey is really applying pressure now, guys. She's looking to make a comeback, but can she get it done? You can see it. She's taking no prisoners right now. The Irishman has his Irish up. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. That should do it. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. And Ember Moon, too quick. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a lot of time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs... Ember Moon is getting ready. Looking to flip the tables here. Had a plan. It's going to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, man, Bailey's going to need a hug after that. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Ah, oh, just a wicked fallaway slam. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. As Corey mentioned, preparing for Ember is not easy, especially given that she has no quit in her. But that said, Byron, perhaps replicating what Shayna Baszler did to Ember at TakeOver New Orleans would be a good approach. Well, as vicious as it may sound, if Ember refuses to quit, you might have no other choice than to render her unconscious. Much like Shayna did. Bailey's on the attack. Great offense by Bailey. The small of her back took the brunt of that one. 
There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus after their thrilling best of seven. Sour, and we're gonna end it. Braun Strowman is on the attack. Check out Braun's. Oh, 1916. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Oh, this is dangerous right here. But I don't think anyone. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Quick Ross. Here's her chance to end this. She goes for the cover. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. And now Finn Balor heads up. Finn Balor is in position. Kudin Ross. This could be the turning point, Cole. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this. Can she end it here? She got the shoulder up in time. What a kick out. We're looking at complete domination here. Well, she wants, she goes for the cover. And a kick out. Not yet. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. She can close the door here. She definitely hit her mark there. And she lands a perfectly executed drop kick. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out! And Finn Balor's really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. It doesn't seem to be her night tonight, fellas. I'm not used to seeing this. Oh, no. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. Finn Balor going high risk. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Cooney Cross. Finn Balor never ceases. Here's a cover. Could be it. Broken up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. Great move. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. power slam if that doesn't end it up here, here's a cover Two. things are not looking very good right now gonna have to find a way to regroup LeBron Strowman what a maneuver Things are about as bad as they could possibly be. Wow, what a slam. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now. Braun Strowman is rolling forward right before our eyes. Whoa, and Braun Strowman is setting it up. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. This is a great offense by Finn Balor. In comes Bailey. Bailey's on the attack. 
Up goes Bailey. Bailey's looking to end it. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. And this has got to be it! Two! She might just be running on instinct at this point. She just will not give up, Cole. She wants to beat her inside the ring. Look at her go. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Face plant. But can Strowman follow up here? That should do it, Cole. And will this be it? Yes. Two. Three. They got it. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. And they pick up the win, thanks in large part to Braun Strowman. These women make an almost unstoppable pairing, Michael. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come.